Welcome back to another episode. This one's a little different than normal. I'm not fishing, I actually go diving. We plant coral on the reef. Our reefs are in trouble. You know, there's a lot of coral die off, but Moat Marine, Eye Care, Key Dives, and Bud and Mary's Marina have all partnered up and we're trying to grow coral here at Bud and Mary's Marina. These guys know what they're doing. Recently, I went out there and we did this. It was a great day. I want to take you along on the boat and show you how we planted coral. But first, we were in the classroom. Let's start there. So we're here with Eye Care. Just did a whole uh, presentation, learn a little bit about the corals, what they're doing here. And now we're practicing to plant the corals. And we're gonna practice hammering the nails in, zip tying the corals, and then in a couple hours, we're heading out with the Key Dives boat. We're gonna go plant these, so practice now, and uh, we'll get ready for this afternoon. Awesome. So we'll be scrubbing the area first. We're just practicing. After we scrub it clean, we're gonna chisel away some more of the algae on it, and then we're gonna hammer the nails in after that. So, trying to get everyone on the same page here. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's great. You want to get that mix of sort of a chisel and a drag into okay, it. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Have a kid. Practice makes perfect, they said. I remember you want to work Hope I don't mess this one up. This one, this is the one that counts. This one's nice and sturdy. That one is too. This zip tie is reused. It's a reusable one, so it's wiggling a little bit, but you get the point. We want them in little clusters here. And uh, this will be the first time I've ever done anything like this, planting coral, so I'm excited. A little bit nervous too. So our second dive, we're going to be looking for yellow-footed snails. Apparently they eat the coral. Is that right, Mike? So they're a nuisance out there, and if we catch them and find them, we're going to bring them back here, and they're going to take them, they're going to feed them to the lobsters. Lobsters like to eat them, so lobsters will eat these snails. I hope we find some out there. They won't be very big, but uh, these are a couple of the shells from ones they found in the past. Wait, drop it, and see if you can fit. All right, you got it, dude. Dude,
We're leaving Alligator Reef, you guys. Just had an awesome dive. You're gonna love this episode. We're out here planting corals today with key dives and eye care. There's Alligator Reef right behind us, leaving the site. Hope you guys enjoy the ride. Kylie, what is eye care? Tell the viewers so they know what's, what the program is. Absolutely, eye care is a new nonprofit based here in Isla Mirada, Florida. And what makes us different is we partner with local dive shops so that recreational divers can be a part of reef restoration. So we train dive shop customers, we take them out, and they actually get to work with the coral and transplant them onto the reef. So these right here, these are gonna be coral growth tanks. And it's taken a long time to get to this point. You know, Mike from Key Dives, over two years in the making already, right? Yep. So none of this stuff happens overnight. There's a lot of time, a lot of effort. What's gonna happen here in the next few months? So we're in partnership with Moat Marine Laboratory. So they provide us with all of our corals. They do some amazing science down in Summerlin Key. So what we're putting out are corals that are resistant to changes that are happening out on the reef. So we're really giving those corals the best shot. And so part of that partnership is they're building this brand new land-based coral nursery right here in Isla Mirada. And this does a couple of different things. One, it allows us to, to be here hands-on with the coral. We're gonna have corals here in about a month or so. So it's easier for us to, to care for the corals, help them grow and get them ready to transplant. Another great thing that this does is it opens up education. So divers, non-divers, anyone will be able to come right here to this nursery and see corals for themselves. So they're gonna be pumping water directly out from the ocean. They'll treat it in these tanks over here in terms of making sure it's the right temperature, the right pH level, and then they'll flow into these tanks. I'm excited, you guys. I can't wait to get out there. <laughs> it's a little different than what I normally do, but I uh, appreciate you guys taking me and inviting me. And some of you guys can come down here and do this too, get involved. Yeah. Help transplant corals. You can assist in micro-fragmenting the coral species. Um, help us maintain these tanks. There's many things that need to be done. It's a lot of work, but we love the ocean. We want it to come back. We want the, the reef to thrive. We want people to fish, to dive, to make it like it was 30 years ago. It takes work. It takes you. It takes all of us to team together to make it a, a, a better ocean. Anybody likes to dive, you like coral or reefs, and you guys want to do something like this, get a hold of these guys. You can come be part of this. Even if you don't want to come diving and want to help out, we'll put uh, info in the video link below and uh, you guys can research a little bit yourselves. I care about coral.org. We just got back. Great dive with Key Dives here. If you want to help out, you know, check out I Care. Check out Key Dives here at Bud and Mary's. Get involved. That was the first time I've ever done anything like that, you know, planting coral. And uh, just big thanks to Mike, big thanks to Kylie. That's all we got for you today. So hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. Check out the new website, stansfishing.com. Hopefully we'll see you guys down here in Almorada. <laughs>